Are you hitting it too short into the court? You need to hit it deeper into the court to win points. Hitting the ball short into the court allows your opponent to be in an aggressive position, which you do not want to happen. When you hit the ball deep into the court, you then get a short ball from your opponent, which allows you to hit more shots, like a short ball put away, a volley put away, an overhead, a swinging volley. When you keep the ball deep, you're giving yourself the best chance at getting multiple short balls so that you can end the point quicker. I'm Abby with Abby Spears Tennis, and today I'm gonna to give you four quick fixes on how you can keep that ball deeper into the court to set yourself up to winning points quicker and winning matches. Let's head on over to the court so I can show you these quick drills. The first problem that you could be having is that your swing is not going low to high or you're not getting enough lift on your stroke. So to have a partner stand across from you on the other side of the net and holding their racket up for a visual target about four to six feet over the net allows you to really concentrate on your stroke going low to high and aiming for a height that will put that ball deep into the court. The second problem you might be having with your stroke, causing it to go short into the court, is that you're rolling your forearm over and or your wrist. So use the back fence to show with your stroke, as you shadow, if you're rolling over or not at the point of impact. This will help you gauge what you need to do to correct your racket face. So then, putting the racket at vertical or flat against the fence We'll show you the correct way how you need to swing to keep that ball deep into the court. So just do repetitions to help yourself gain that muscle memory and keep that ball deep into the court. The third problem that you could be having with your stroke causing it to go sh short into the court is that you're opening your shoulder too soon at the point of impact causing your racket to go straight across with no lift and no low to high. So here I am just showing how this could be happening. You're just opening that shoulder way too soon and the ball, I'm having a hard time even getting it over the net actually. So it's just too straight across. So the solution that you can do to create muscle memory is hold another ball in your non-dominant hand and really focus on that low to high and keeping that back parallel to the back fence and your head and your shoulder as you hit the ball are going to stay turned and you're going to follow out into the court towards that non-dominant hand with your stroke getting that lift on the ball and staying turned. The fourth problem you could be having with your stroke causing it to go short into the court is that you have too much of an upward angle and way too much topspin so much force going upwards that you're almost rocking back onto your back foot so kind of like a whip in your forehand what you want to do to correct it is you want to enforce stepping into the court and decreasing your angle of your stroke so you're going out more and then up and not up right away like you are with your incorrect stroke so now that you're hitting the ball deeper into the court you're going to see that you're going to be in a more aggressive position. You're going to get more short balls. You're also going to be able to end the point quicker. You're also going to be able to recover because you're going to be able to neutralize the ball so that you can get back into the ready position. You'll be able to end the point with more fun shots like a short ball put away, a volley, an angle volley, angles, a drop volley, a drop shot, an overhead, and a swinging volley. Hitting the ball deeper into the court also creates an intimidating presence because your opponent is now on their back foot. You're going to get more short balls and you're going to get more free shots, meaning they're going to make mistakes because you're putting the pressure on by keeping the ball deep into the court. Take these drills and apply them to your next match and you're going to begin to realize how much easier it is to win points and win matches.